Hi everyone, welcome. Well, I take it your uh, shower's not draining properly. So I'm here to help. Let's have a look. Okay, so here's the culprit here. Now, a lot of times, let me just grab a screwdriver here. A lot of times uh, the block can be just below this grate. So if you're in standing water here and you take your screwdriver and just poke down there like that, the water might start draining away. And usually the number one culprit is hair. Hair below that grate. Uh, in this case, I've already done that. Um, and the block is further down. So what you want to do is take your flathead screwdriver and gently pry up on this. Move that out of the way. Okay, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to turn the water on here to show you guys what's happening. You can hear it filling up. There it comes. The water does eventually drain away, but you don't want to be standing in that when you're having a shower. So we're going to stick the hand auger down that, the drum auger, and see if we can clear that out. So let's turn this off. Drum auger here. So you want to open this guy up here. You want to feed it down in there. Now see the water already went away. You want to just keep pushing it until it won't go anymore. Because there's probably a bunch of debris hair down there. So once you get it to where it stops, you want to tighten up this little nut. Sometimes there's a little button you push and it locks this cable in place. That's really important. And you only want to leave, you know, about that much, six or 10 inches of cable. And then you turn and you can see the cable starts to twist. It's trying to go through the trap now. There we go. So now I just went through the trap and now I'm gonna undo this little guy here. And I'm going to feed a little more out and then I'm going to do that back up again and twist again. You don't want to put too much out or you can bind it all up in the pipe. Twist it so it doesn't have any resistance and then undo that clasp again. Pull another 10 inches or so out, push it. That's feeding down, now it's stopping again. So I'm either hitting another block or the, the block and I'm or I'm hitting a fitting. So now we stop, do that nut back up again, and twist again. I'm feeding down. Same thing over, undo that, feed a bit out. Now that's feeding out nicely. I'm not hitting anything. So that tells me I'm through the block. Now I'm gonna start pulling it back. sure you have a plastic bag, some, some paper towel or shop towels for when you're pulling this out. Pull it, pull it, pull it. So you're feeding this back in to the drum now. Pulling and look at that. That's a lot of hair right there. I know it's gross. That's a lot of hair right there. Okay. So now we want to clear that off of there. That's why you wear gloves to do this. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. You got to wear gloves. You should probably wear something over your eyes too. And you just get all that gunk off of there. And I'm going to need more shop towels here. really gets bound on there. Anyways, you get the idea. I'll finish cleaning that up later. I don't think we need to go back down there again.
because I think I got the block right there. Okay, now, now we're gonna take the water again and turn it on. Rinse that out. Look at that. I think we can call that good. Clean that off. All right, I got the auger all cleaned up. Now oh, these are great tools. You know, I think I paid $15 for this um, Canadian at Home Hardware, Home Depot or something. Um, and yeah, I mean, when you consider $15, uh, versus the cost of getting a plumber in to do this, um, they're a great tool to have. I like to give mine a shot of WD-40 at the end of the day, just to preserve the tool because they do wear out eventually. They get bound up once in a while and you know, you just end up getting a new one. Um, so yeah, get that, got that cleaned up and now we just got to Put this drain cover back on. This is a plastic one, so it just snaps in. You put it in one side, and then you just give it a push, and it snaps back down into place. Uh, some of them have uh, Phillips head screw, or a couple Phillips head little Phillips head bolts. Uh, usually the stainless steel ones um, in tile showers. The plastic ones are great, though. They're very durable and um, easy to remove. So. Um, you can even just remove them every once in a while and and uh, clean out any anything that's built up just down below too. So yeah, so I'm gonna just clean up the rest of the tools here and uh, move on to the next one. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.